going on? So some people, some producers or some people who are new to making music, you're still a producer. Even if you never produced, if you start producing, you are what you are. Anyway, so um, maybe you don't want to invest a lot of money or you don't have a lot of money or whatever the case may be. So now, of course, you have koala, <laughs> but you could do this with other things. But let's say you do have koala and you're thinking, you know, what else should I buy? So I came up with a short list and some places where you can get samples. All right. So first, let's start with this app, which, if I'm correct, is made by AUM, same company. I believe so. Actually, we could confirm it down here. Yeah, there it is. So they make AUM. And um, you can see by the photos, basically, it's like file app. But you could do much more. Like uh, you could trim and fade. You could record into it like an audio recorder. You can convert things. And you could send it to Dropbox and what have you. So it's really useful. And in this video, what I wanted to talk about, right? So you can also use it as a kind of storage for your samples. So here's some of my samples. Uh, so here's my splice samples. And here are some uh, drum loops. So, you know, it's pretty easy to store and manage within this. And it has other benefits that file app that comes natively with Apple. It doesn't do these things. So this app is about $4.99. I recommend it. And you can also send pictures. You could do a lot of stuff with it. It's pretty useful. I practice. Actually, yeah, I could say I use this app every day. All right, so that's one app. Another app we could look at is uh, Sample Crate. So Sample Crate is similar to Audio Share, but this one is more focused on, well, in the same way where you can like have your, um, yo, check that out, Bam Bam. Shout out to Bam Bam if you happen to see this. All right, but um, you can bring your samples in there and kind of just organize them. I mean, I'll go through all this, but you can loop them. You could rename the samples. Now, this is a big one. So you could import a bunch of samples and rename them. Uh, you can tag them. Like, this is huge. I don't think there's any other app... I mean, maybe the file app does this, but this is more specific to the samples that you have, which helps finding things much easier. I mean, I'm pretty sure you have the image or you could think of the image of a DJ with a big crate of records, right? Now, if that DJ just had a random box, random crate of records, and he went to do his set or his show, he would spend a lot of his time digging through the crates right now you can do that in your leisure but if you have got a 45 minute set and you don't know what's in your crate your set is going to be really weird or random same way with the samples if you don't organize your samples in a way that makes sense to you then you're going to spend a lot of your time scrolling through thousands of kicks or so this app highly recommend it you might be saying, okay, okay, I got Koala, cool. Audio share sounds all right. $4.99 is not so expensive. And Sample Crate sounds cool. But I don't have any samples. I mean, I, I get the samples from like the Koala contest, but I don't own a bunch of samples. Where do I get samples? So two options here you could read at the top cymatics cymatics splice and a bunch of other companies they come out with these um 
these sample packs called royalty free which means you could use it however you want you could sell it you can remix it you can never use it again it's free some of them you have to pay and then you get the royalty free in the case of cymatics you just see free and it's free and then there's another brand or style of um of um samples that are not royalty free which means you can use them and you could more or less do the same thing as royalty free but then when adele is like looking for someone like you <laughs> um if she reaches out to you and it's like i want to buy that beat which is and you use the non royalty free beat then you have to contact the maker of that sample pack and split the the publishing usually it should be 50 50 so you get 50 percent of the publishing and they get 50 percent of the publishing i'm not a entertainment lawyer so don't like quote me when i first started i was kind of why am i going to pay why would i reach out to someone and give them 50 percent of my revenue but if i didn't use their sample and got that vibe and that feeling then it's highly likely that adele or whoever wouldn't have reached out to me and it'd be like you know if you sample some soul funk it has that feeling in it and when you do your thing to it that feeling is kind of embedded in your track the sounds and the mesh up and the mashup and all that so you know the sample just jump out real quick so this site hip-hop samples so these are like premium samples that always has sales and this guy kingsway aka frank dukes come back he is like the the pioneer of these sample packs uh blah 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 so you can see right here one of his samples were used in drake 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 here's a uh, taylor swift kanye j cole kendrick logic freddie gibbs and you can see that these come in at 39.99 and if we just jump into one and go down to the bottom you could see this part right here never have another record shelved due to sample clearance issues could you imagine right you do all that work you get a placement and then when it gets time to get the bag you're like all right did you is that your sample you're like nah and they're like well maybe they'll try to clear it but maybe the estate would be like, nope, you're going to have to give us $50 billion. Or they're just going to go with another producer who, A, made everything by himself. B, used a royalty-free uh, sample. C, used uh, like one of these um, where they get 50% of your publishing. Because they just call them up like, hey, we're going to use this. Like, cool. Here's my name. Like, it's just really frictionless. All right. Moving along, so so back to you, <laughs> the budding new producer who's interested in, in a sample-based production, but you don't have samples, and we're gonna use Infinity Beta Pack 2.0. So I'm um, clicking it and download the pack. All right, it's doing its thing cut right there all right so that's done let me jump out of here and go into koala we're going to set up split screen and we're going to go into crates we could clear this out or we can make a new crate let's make a new crate we're going to call this samples or we'll call it cymatic cymatic all right, so we have a new empty crate and 
exit out of that. Now we're going to look for the file we just downloaded. And we're going to look for Cymatics, which is here. So we can see in our pack we got uh, Melodies. Now this is nice because we can see there's a name, there's a BPM, and the keys there. Now, this happens too. Like, let's say you're going through a bunch of different folders listening to a bunch of different tracks. And then at the end of 15 minutes or an hour, because you can get lost in the sauce, you're not going to remember everything you played. So, using this app, I could just copy it over into my. Uh, crate. So, I'm just going to do all the A's, and I'll show you why in a minute. All right, so I'm going to come in, select, and I'm looking for all the A's. Here's an A minor. Here's an A minor. Uh, here's another A minor. Here's another A minor. And I'm going to add these to my crate. And then under vocal, I'm going to add all the A minors for the vocals too. I mean, that's an A major, but not a major problem um let's go for drums now they didn't put the key signature of drums but drums also have a key you know that's why they tune the drums but uh let's listen to a couple all right that one works for me so you can actually drag these i'm gonna drag this I'm going to drag it into D. So if you didn't want to make a crate, you can do it that way. So we got our three drums. And we have a crate, which we're going to drag all those into C. All right. And now we're done with uh, him. So we can go to full screen. All right. Now, the reason I picked all the same keys is so when I mash them together, most likely they're gonna fit pretty nice together. I just like that beginning part. right to the end and we're gonna come over to our drum I just want to make this into a kit real quick so uh, we're gonna take this down here and we're gonna and all right so we're hitting we sample it's not gonna start until we hit the first pad three two one Now this should be, uh, I lost count, but it should be a loop. Let's see what we got. idea so what I want to show mostly was 
I was able to pick a bunch of samples easily, drag them into here using crates. And I found these samples on Cymatics. If you have questions, put them down there and I'll try to answer the best I can. All right, peace.